Good group here today, seeing us our first one. The first one's always hard, as Glenn said. People are scared they're going to get uh, stu stuck up for some uh, committee position. But uh, we've spoken about this, and Glenn come and saw me, would have been uh, a fair oh, Christmas time, maybe. Um, and we're both in the Lions Club together. So to see about a, a neighbourhood uh, neighbourhood watch, which is, as uh, it was mentioned, it's a very important thing. But I'd like to see the, I said to Glenn at the time, I'd like to have seen the neighbourhood watch uh, expanded out and I've been talking to the Minister about making it a more community safety and community information type um, thing. So that's what we trial, that's what we decided uh, we trial here uh, with this group. So the idea is, uh, as Glenn mentioned, is to not be a, where well, you're all going to have to get on a committee and go out and fundraise. I mean the idea is that uh, between all the members, uh, between myself and Adrian and the federal members, uh, Ross Vasta, uh, if, if there's information, we should be able to arrange people from the relevant government departments, if necessary, to come and talk or source the people that we need to provide that information to you. So that's the idea. And uh, it should just be really a, a, you know, a self-generating thing where we talk about the issues that are of interest and get the relevant people to come along and provide that information. Can I just say, uh, we've also got here in the, in the uh, uh, colour-coordinated uniforms over here is uh, Dennis and Belinda. I used to be in the fire, in the fire brigade with Dennis. And he uh, now runs a business, Smoke Alarms Brisbane, and uh, he's brought along a, a fire safety package, which we're going to raffle off at the end of the night, so thanks very much. And Dennis is a local business just down at uh, near the Mayfield School there. He, he lives, uh, so that's a local business, so it's good to support a local business. And ben, I know that Dennis, being in the fire brigade, he's got experience as well from the other side, not just the legislative side, but from, uh, from the side of actually being in the, in the fire brigade. So for those that you don't know me, my name is Steve Kilburn, I'm the local member for Chatsworth, which covers, mm. covers Carindale and the local area here. But before I was elected at the last election, I spent 20 years uh, in the fire service, various fire services, five years in the airport fire service, and then uh, 15 years in the Queensland Fire and Rescue Service, and that was in Brisbane, Cairns, and in Tully. So in 15 years, you get to see all the, uh, you get to see it all. And uh, just when you think you've seen it all, something, something even more bizarre comes along. And I can say that, uh, and it was interesting, one of the things I say to people is I never went to a fire ever uh, where at the end of it people said, I knew this was going to happen to me. I knew it. They always said, I never thought this was going to happen to me. And I was just watching, I think it was, uh, there was a fire in a house recently on the news last week and they were interviewing the person and the person said, I never thought this would happen to me. So it's a common thing that when you go to a fire is the people who are in shock and said, I never thought this was actually going to happen to me. But it does, it happens to people. Uh, fire can happen to day. anybody. That's right, it can. And this year, just from the start of this year till now, there's been 819 uh, house fires in Queensland. And winter is the most dangerous period for that. So what I wanted to talk to you about today was just, uh, I'm going to show you a video about <coughs> fire in a home to get a sense of, of why it's important that we have smoke alarms. The law now says we all have to have smoke alarms. Has everyone got smoke alarms? Yep, yeah, good. Uh, and it's, all, it's all always good to have a smoke alarm, but it's even better to have a smoke alarm that works uh, because we, we would quite often go to um, uh, houses and there would be the smoke alarm with the wire hanging out of it where it kept going off when someone was cooking toast and they get the broom handle and smash it off the roof and uh, then it falls on the floor and they put it in the drawer in the bottom of the kitchen and uh, it's never going to go off and it's never going to save you. So uh, that's not going. To, so what we want to talk about is that. Now I'm just going to talk about the the importance of having an evacuation plan and why it's important. And then what we'll do is uh, Dennis will come up and have a talk about uh, we'll give you the opportunity to talk about legislation or talk about you know, whether you've got enough smoke alarms and that in your house. So this video that I'm about to show you is basically they set up a room uh, in a in a in a big factory just to show how fast fire happens and how dangerous it is. Because I've had people say to me, when I lived up in Cairns, people would say to me, it doesn't matter, I live in a brick home. You know, it's not, it's not going to be a problem. Well, it's not the home, it's everything that's inside the home that is what is going to kill you in a house fire.